Hey YouTube, I'm AJ13 here, AK Andrew, and today I'm doing my first tutorial. So, um, before we begin, the programs I'm going to be using today are CC Power, which you get from Prefarm. You just click Download, and it takes a page. Make sure you click File Info. It doesn't really matter what page you click, but click Latest Download, um, and you install that. The other program I'm going to use is my malware bytes, um, which is from the malware bytes website. Click free download, um, and then you click uh, download now. So that that that's that. Um, so let's get started. The first program, the first thing you want to do, um, so I'll show you this. You want to go to start menu, and then you want to type in apps. And the first program should come up should be task scheduler. If it's not, um, the way to find it is just type in again S C H E T U right L E R okay and that's it there so you open it up and this is the window you're hit with okay what you want to do is you want to click over here which says create task and um, so we click create task and um, first one we're going to do is CC Connor because it's probably easy and um, actually the first one we're going to do is malware bytes so we're going to update malware bytes we're going to type in update malware bytes okay in the description you can type in whatever you want you can type in hello or something more useful like update malware bytes okay it could be whatever you want and um, so we then tick this box that says run with highest privileges it's basically running it as administrator and um, make sure you select windows 7 if you've got a windows 7 machine and the same for if you've got Vista or server or whatever you've got. Um, you can run it as hidden if you want. I usually run it as hidden so it doesn't pop up. Um, triggers, click new. Um, this is probably the most important one. Um, select a time. Um, the most the the most the most useful one is to start it from the time you've got right now and then tick the box that says repeat every hour and then it's like indefinitely, it means it'll update every hour in your data basically up to date which is great um, these, don't, don't touch any of these controls here, I mean you can if you want but to run it on a schedule it's up here so we click OK and um, you can also go in here again uh, sorry, ignore what I just said there um, the next thing you have to do is go to actions you want to browse so we're doing, uh, at the moment we're doing malwarebytes so for those of you who have just installed it, it will be in your desktop, it's not on my desktop because my desktop is blank because I like my picture, but anyway, um, you know, if it's not on your desktop, you go into Program Files x86 if you are on a 64 machine, and Program Files if you're on a 32 machine, okay? So we go in here, we scroll right down until we find Malware Bytes and Malware, and we double click the file, and we select MBAM. Mike Bravo Alpha Mike. Okay, that's it in phonetic alphabet for those of you who cannot read it or if it's too small. We then click open. And um, for the arguments, so we're doing an update, we do backslash update. Make sure it's all in caps, otherwise it will not work. Then click OK. And um, this is optional. You can also like make yourself a wee pop-up window just to say. So um, I, I don't do this, but one of my friends does. Um, you can do that if you want. Um, you don't necessarily need to. Um, so that, that's fine. Conditions. Can, this is probably one of the key areas as well. Make sure you select if it's idle. If you're doing something and Malwarebytes starts to update, it can lag up your computer. Not necessarily if you've got a decent computer, but if you've got a wee shitty laptop or whatever, it'll lag up your computer. Um, so that's all fine and dandy. Um, so they, then you click OK. I'm going to click Cancel because I've already got this task under my task schedule. So um, we then want to run it. Uh, if I can find it, refresh. What's going on here? Sorry, guys. Refresh. Task schedule. There we go. Right. So sorry about that, guys. Um, you want to click on Task Schedule Library. Uh, this shows all the tasks that are on your computer, but you don't really need to worry about that. The one we've just created, so the one I just created is called Malware Byte Update. You want to right click on that, you want to click Run. Um, then what will happen 
is you'll get what is going on here. You'll get this pop up, um, and it'll say that your these numbers will change here because it determines on what the date is and what the version of the database is. So just click OK, and that's that done. The next one we're going to do is a full scan. So I'll tell you what, I'll delete this. So I'll show you the whole the whole process. Okay. So we go to create task, name it full scan. Sorry guys, I've got OCD when it comes to typing. Malware types. So that was that was fucking atrocious. Sorry guys. Rubbish typing tonight. Um yeah, I, I won't do that. And then run with highest privileges, run as hidden, open that. We'll leave that for a few seconds so you can see what's going on. Triggers new run this weekly. I run it on a Sunday evening. And no, I'm not gonna run it on Monday evening. At eight o'clock. Um so that's fine. Click OK. This is running full scan actions, browse with program. Select malware bytes. Should be in your C drive if it's um, same place that we had the update. So we're going to go here and select it. Then we're going to open it up. And um, for a full scan, we'll do backslash full scan. This doesn't matter about case sensitivity. Um, and then you're going to click OK. And then you go to conditions and make sure you tick the if it's idle for 10 minutes. You can select the amount of time, but I suggest 10 minutes because it's the kind of default and it's better. Um, you then go to go to the settings and select do not start a new instance and click OK. You right click that and hit run. Um, now what should happen is this is gonna let me it should pop up and it should start being a scan. So you can minimize that, you can close it. Um, it's, it's just then um, depend on what you want to do. The next one we're gonna do is CC cleaner. So you should have already downloaded CC Cleaner. If you have not, go to your start menu, type in C. Uh, sorry, if you should have already installed CC Cleaner. But if you, if you have not, if you weren't watching the start of the video, again, just go to CC Cleaner, type it into Google, click the thing, click download, click File Echo, and then click Download there. It's nice and simple, nice and easy. Anyway, so we're going to click CC Cleaner into your search, open up CC Cleaner, and um, these are my settings I use. You don't need to use these necessarily, but um, I'll scroll through them. Um, so I've got all this stuff tech. This is all the stuff I clean every day. Um, I just clean my internet history of my cookies so it kind of saves time. Uh, I've got to do combat databases as well, just for a bit of fun. Um, registry just stays the same. You don't need to worry about tools really. You can look about this when it afterwards. Um, you upgrade to Pro just to completely ignore that because what we're doing. Um, is we're running as auto. Okay. So then I'm going to go to advanced and um, make sure you tick. So make sure you tick this box, save all settings to INI file, and skip user account control line. That's for if you're using like um, you haven't turned off UAC, which I'll show you later on how to do. So you then close that out, create a new task, and um, type this as update. I don't know what we're doing. Run. CC. Okay, type whatever you want in the description. Run it the highest drill, which is run it as hidden, and run it for Windows 7. Triggers, new, daily, select whatever time you want. I usually run mine about 8 o'clock in the evening because that's when I'm on my computer. And um, you can, it doesn't really matter with this. So you click OK, then you go to actions, new, rounds. So this time, um, if you've just installed it, it should be on your desktop. It's not on my desktop because my desktop's clear, as you can see. Um, you want to find it, so you go to your C drive, and you go to x86, no, you don't, sorry, you go to program files, you go to CC cleaner. Now, the key part here is if you're using a 32-bit machine, select this program here, and if you're using a 64-bit machine, select this one here. Simple, okay? You open it up, then you hit backslash A-U-T-O okay and you can also add um, slash shutdown that will shut down your computer after you've done it um, not that I, I just leave it as auto so then you click OK 
uh, conditions. Start if it's idle for 10 minutes. I usually set this to about 30 minutes because it depends what I'm doing at the time. If I'm doing rendering or editing or downloading, whatever. Um, yeah. I also quite wait the computer to run this task. That's if it's on hibernation or whatever. Uh, it doesn't really matter with that. And then just simply click OK. And um, you'll notice I have other ones here. Um, if you comment in the comments below, um, I can do a tutorial video on how to, how to do this all properly. See so yeah, you guys. Um, thanks for watching the video. If you could please rate, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you on my next video. Um, give me a kind of thumbs up. Uh, to how good my video was, uh, please comment. I've already said this, but please comment on how like how the tutorial was if you want to throw us anything else. And um, also be doing a tutorial quite soon on how to um, browse anonymously on the internet using uh, a program called Hotspot Shield. So you might not have heard of it before. If you have, then go Google it. So if you haven't, go Google it. If you have, that's fantastic. And um, thank you guys. Bye.